What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RossmoreTech.com and this is another tutorial in Swift programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use a dictionary. So let's get started. Now what is a dictionary or dictionaries? Dictionaries are basically like uh, an array. They can hold uh, multiple values for a variable. But the only difference is a dictionary does not index its values like an array does. It, it, the way it indexes its values is through keywords. It's, it's, it doesn't index from zero and up. It'll index for whatever keyword you give it. So just like a regular dictionary, you could find a reference in a dictionary by its keyword, by the name, and then you find the reference. So basically that's how dictionaries work in Swift. And I'll show you how to create one. It's similar to creating a uh, an array. So we have to first start off by typing in our VAR, the keyword to create a variable or a dictionary or an array. What? It's just a keyword for creating a variable. Then we gotta type in our dictionary name. I'll call this one uh, house, right? Is gonna be our dictionary name. Then we type in colon, we hit space, right? Then we type in dictionary, D-I-C. As you can see, it tries to fill it in for us, so we could just click on it. Or we could type in dictionary, right? After we type in dictionary, we're going to uh, use this open, or actually this little less than symbol here than this greater than symbol. In between this less than and greater than symbol here, we're gonna type in string, right? Because we wanna have string values. So we're gonna type capital S, T, R, I, N, G. It's capital S, the rest are lowercase. And then we're gonna type in comma, space, then string again, S, T, R, I, N, G, right? So, so now after this uh, greater than symbol here, we're gonna hit space, then we're gonna type in equals, space, open and close bracket. Now in between the open and close bracket here, we're gonna type in our values, our keys and our values. We have to start off by typing a key first. The first key that we're gonna type in, this is gonna be a string key by the way. So we, gotta, we have to type in a set of double quotes, right? In between the set of double quotes, we have to type in a key for our first value. And I'll just type in uh, A, right? Our key for our first value is A. Since it's a key after uh, the value or the key value, we have to type in colon. So after the, the, the value you type in colon, then you hit space, now we're gonna type in the value. Since it's gonna have a value of a string, we, we need another set of double quotes. So in between this set of double quotes, I'm gonna type in apple. So A for apple, basically. So the, so the keyword is A, the way we look for it, this value is with this keyword A, and its value is apple. So the way we add another one, or another keyword and value is with, with a comma here. After this value, we type in comma, now we gotta type in another key. Since it's gonna have a string value, we gotta have a set of double quotes, so we're gonna type in a set of double quotes, in between the set of double quotes, we're gonna, I'm gonna type in B. So our, our next key is gonna be called B, and uh, we're gonna hit space. Now we're gonna give B, oops, since it's a key after the key name, we gotta type in colon. So then we hit space. Now we gotta give it a value since it's gonna be a string value. It's gotta have a set of double quotes. So in between the set of double quote here, I'm gonna type in boy. So it's gonna have a string value of boy. A has a value of apple, B has a value of boy. So the way we find the value is through the keywords again. This is a keyword A, and it's gonna jump straight to the value apple. This keyword B is gonna to jump to boy, and we're gonna add one more. After this uh, value of boy here, we're gonna add a comma, because we wanna add another one. Now we gotta add the keyword. It's gonna be a string keyword, so we have to add a string value, so a set of double quotes. In between the set of double quotes, I'm gonna type in C. So C is gonna be our key, our third key, and our final key that I'm gonna show you today. We gotta to add this colon here, hit space. Now we gotta give it a value. Again, another set of double quotes. In between the set of double quotes, I'm gonna type in cat. C for cat. So we have three uh, dictionaries here, three values. And each value has a um, key. Like that's the reference basically, like in a dictionary. If you're looking up for a definition of a cat, right? You find the definition of cat through its keyword. Cat is the keyword. So you look in the dictionary for C, right? Then you look for cat, you find cat and you find the reference. So that's how this works here. Now the way we can manipulate this information or access this information, uh, same way you would be able to access uh, an array, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Let's first start off by printing the values. So uh, we're gonna use the print method, so P-R-I-N-T-L-N, open and close parentheses. In between the open and close parentheses, we're gonna type in our uh, dictionary name, which is house, then uh, open and close bracket. 
in between the open and close bracket, we're going to type in our um, our key that we want to reference, our key that we want to print. The key that we want to print is A, because we want to print out the value of Apple. So we're going to type in A, because A is the key. So now it should print out the value of A. So let's hit play here. Build field. All right, build field. I know why, because the key has to be enclosed in a, oops, it has to be enclosed inside a double quote. So anytime you reference a key, a string value, if it's a integer key, you don't need to add this double quote. And I'll show you how to do that with integers after this. But if it's a string key, you have to have it enclosed in a string. So we want to reference our, our key A, and it's a string, so we have to have it enclosed in a set of double quotes. So let's hit play here. Build succeeded, and it printed out Apple, because again, A was our keyword. This is a string keyword that we use to reference the value of Apple. So now uh, let's say we wanted to print out boy. We use its key, the key is B. So we replace A with B, right? We hit play, build succeeded, and it printed out boy. Now let's try to print out the third and final one, cat. So we gotta replace B with C, hit play, build succeeded, and it printed out cat. Now, how do we find out how many values we have in our dictionary? The same way we, we, uh, we did in our previous video, the, an array, we added the dot count after the array name. So let's just delete the, these values here inside this open and close parentheses here because we're going to print out the value of our array. How many how many uh, values that it actually has? So, I'm sorry, this is a dictionary. We want to print out the value of our dictionary. So we type in our dictionary name, which is house, right? Dot count, C-O-U-N-T. -C. So this dot count is going to tell us how many values we have in our dictionary. So we can hit play here, right? Build succeeded, and it printed out three because we have three values or three dictionaries here. So now let's say if you wanted to change the value of one of our dictionaries, if, again, we could do the same thing like we did with the uh, array. We type in the dictionary name again, it's house, open and close bracket, right? Inside the open and close bracket, we're going to type in uh, a set of double quotes because we, we used a string as our uh, key. So in between the set of double quotes, we're going to type in the key that we want to reference and our key is A. And we, I want to say this is equal to uh, another string. And then this value, this is going to change the value from Apple to something else. So let's change it to orange, O-R-A-N-G-E, right? It's going to change the value of uh, to orange, basically. So let's, all right, so let's see what happens when we use the print line here. So we're going to type in P-R-I-N-T-L-N, open and close parentheses. Inside this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in our dictionary name, right? So it's house, open and close bracket. Inside this open and close bracket, we're going to type in uh, a set of double quotes because our key is a string. So we want to reference uh, A again. But remember, above this here, we use this statement to change the value of our string or our, or our, our dictionary, right? We said that uh, the re reference or keyword A, this value is going to be changed to orange. It was originally Apple, now we're changing it to orange. So let's hit play, see what happens. Hit run. Let's hit play and see what happens. Build succeeded, and it printed out orange. It printed out orange because we changed the value of this uh, keyword here. This keyword was linked to Apple, the value of Apple first. But we used this statement. We just typed in the dictionary name, open close bracket, the key. Since the key is a string, we typed in a set of double quotes and the the key itself. The key is A, and we just said it's equal to the new value, the new string value, and it just changed the value. So, And when we printed it out, it was orange instead of apples, basically. Now, let's say you wanted to remove the value of a key. We can use something called a dot nil, or we can make it actually equal to nil, and I'll show you. It's not a dot nil. We make it equal to nil. And let's just, actually, let's keep that. So edit, undo, typing. We're going to keep that because we're going to want to print out the value of A. So... Uh, this statement here, we, we changed the value of the key A to orange, right? It was originally apples, we changed the to orange. So after this, we're going to clear it out to see, to see what happens. So we're going to type in our dictionary name again, which is house. We use this open and close bracket here. Inside this open and close bracket, oops, not curly brace, bracket. We're going to t uh, type in a set of double quotes because our key is a string. We're going to type in our key name, which is A. And we're going to say is equal to NIL. Once we say this is equal to NIL, it empties out the value. So now the value is zero. So once we print out uh, the value here, it should be zero. So let's hit play, build succeeded, and it printed out NIL because 
it's zero. It made it zero, basically. Now there's another way we could remove the value, and I'll show you. So let's delete this statement here, and we're going to type in our uh, dictionary name, which is house, right, dot remove value for key here. Click on this. So again, it's remo remove value for key, and, and in between this open and close parentheses, we're going to delete this here. So in between the open and close parentheses, we're going to type in our key that we want to remove the value. We want to remove the value for key A again. So if it is a string, we need to set a double quotes, and I'm going to type in A. So now, basically, this is doing exactly what the other one did, but it's just another way of doing it. And it's going to remove the value of A. So it should still print that NIL again, null. So let's hit play. Build succeeded NIL. So that's another way to remove a value from a key. All right, so this is pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com, and thanks for watching.